Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well this evening as I uh, am starting another video for On a Border. And this one is using the Iron Gate Border Punch. Um, just out recently, if you can't find one, um, I'm sure if you talk to your, um, your advisor, she can find you one. Um, and it's also using a couple of the Border Maker cartridges. Um, I've got some samples with various colors, and um, one of them's with the Serenity paper. Um, the one I'm using tonight is with uh, Sweet Summers, which is the brand new uh, paper pack that we have out. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here is the border using the Sweet Summer paper pack. And this is the one using Serenity. That kind of blends in a little bit, but there you go. That shows the border a little better. And this was used with one of the older fall paper packs that we had that was had a really pretty leaf paper pattern. So it's got multiple really pretty colors on this right here. So um but let me show you how to make this border. So we are going to start using with this punch, the Iron Gate Border Punch. And this is the large punch, which means you can feed it through either direction on the punch. And either way you're going to feed it, you will need to either use this black line right here, or this black line right here. I tend to move on my paper from right to left. So I'm going to line the paper up on this line right here to get started. So I put the paper all the way in, push it up against the back, line it up with the black line and punch. And then I gently slide it over to match the pattern on this side. So just want to make sure there isn't any blue on the pattern showing when you punch the next one, that it matches up completely. All right. Again, push the paper up against the back on that side. Punch. Slide it over. And just do this all the way across so you have a full 12 inch border. I love this paper. It is so pretty. So many multicolors. Great for summer stuff. I'm just so excited about that. Okay, so there's the border punch. And I'm going to move this out of the way. Get all the little pieces moved. Okay, so now I'm going to trim this. And I'm not going to trim it at quite an inch and a half. It's just going to be at one little mark shy of an inch and a half here on this trimmer. So line it up here at just under an inch and a half so that you can see it here. See the inch and a half mark? It's right here. It's just at the next line over. Let's make sure that stays lined up. And I'm just gonna trim it with the straight blade. And that way it's got the paper on either side pretty equidistant. See how each of the sides look like it's pretty, pretty close, pretty even. Okay. Next, I'm going to take a coordinating color. Um, this blends with this really well, but it'll it'll show off the, um, the the vibrant colors with this being a little bit muted on the end. And this one is going to be cut at one and three quarter inch. Okay, so I'm cutting it at one and three quarters. 
I'm going to move that off to the side. Now I'm going to want to use this cardstock. This is the dark sea green cardstock. And I want to put this color paper behind here. But I don't want it showing on the outsides. So I'm going to cut it just under what I originally trimmed the other one at, which was, um, this is going to be one and one, two, three eighths. And I'm going to cut this out. So this is one inch and three eighths. Okay, and I'm going to mount this directly behind this piece that I punched with the um, garden iron gate punch. I'm going to use um, some repositionable adhesive on it. All these little lines on here would be too hard to use just the regular tape runner on. And then I'm going to set this right on top. And make sure that it's equidistant here and that there aren't any edges showing through on the top and the bottom. Okay, but see how that does not go outside of this border piece? It stays underneath to bring the, the colors out. Okay, now I'm going to take this piece using my regular tape runner. And I'm going to mount it on this one and three quarters inch piece. Just kind of eyeball it and get it down the center there. Okay. Now for this piece here, I used um, an old, well, it wasn't old. It was here, it was out recently, but it was a limited edition border maker cartridge. So I'm going to use the woven scallop tonight on this. And this one is not um, just available for sale for anybody, but you can get this one from your advisor because she can get it exclusively for advisors only. So get that from your advisor. And so I put the cartridge in this housing. Slid it in, pushed it all the way until it clicked. And now I'm going to use the dark sea green paper again to make this pattern on the very back side of this border. So you pull out the tray from underneath border maker cartridge housing, lift the handle, slide the cardstock in. Push it all the way up against the edge of this housing right here and push that back underneath. Okay, and so you line up this line here with the line here, this little, uh, little knob right here on the edge. Slide the paper in between it and punch, pull it out, push it back in. That way, this little section here doesn't get stuck underneath and start messing things up for you. <clears throat> okay, so line those up, going all the way down. I'm gonna get rid of the extra pieces here. Then I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna trim it at about two and a half inches. And then I'm going to cut the other side the same way that I did on the first side. Okay, so this will make this just wide enough to fit on the back side of that border. So I'll pull this back out. And the two and a half inches will also allow this piece of paper to still be long enough to fit across this magnet here to hold the paper in place. But I'm gonna have to be careful because it could easily wobble on me with it being this much shorter. Okay, slide it in 
find those lines up and see how that's kind of stuck on there. Pull it out so it doesn't get stuck and ruin the rest of the border. Okay. And then that piece is done. See how that's punched on both sides? Okay, so I'm going to take that one out. The next one I'm going to do is the sea star chain. This one's brand new and it is so cute. I really like it. But before I do that, I'm going to put adhesive on the back of the piece we've been working on. And just kind of down the middle. Center this on here. And I really just kind of eyeball it. I really don't measure it or anything and just stick it on there. Okay, so there's the basic border. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love this. I think it's so pretty. But I wanted to add a little bit of the sea star chain across the middle of this. Now to do that, I want the sea star chain to stand out a little bit. So I'm going to mat it um, and just offset it just a little bit with a little bit darker color. This one, I'm going to use just a piece of uh, Starry Night shimmer paper. And as you can see, I've got a circle cut out of it and a few other things. But I think this one edge will work just perfect to make the background of that sea star border piece. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna line some little knobs up together, push it all the way in and punch. And I have to be careful because this middle part isn't really um, solid against the, the magnet. And so I don't want it to really wobble or come apart on me. So as I'm going down, I'm being really careful. Okay, so there's that piece. Kind of hard to see, it's kind of dark. I'm going to punch another piece. with this kind of an orangish color out of that uh, sweet summer paper pack. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this out. Excuse me. Put the paper in, push the trigger underneath, and I'm gonna punch this one. Same way I did the one with the Starry Night Simmer. Okay, and I'm done with it now. Now there's some little stars in here that um, have been turned over. So I don't know if you can see that star right there. That's actually this um, kind of orangish color, but it's the back side of the paper. And I'm actually going to want to use a few of these I'm going to save them. There we go. How many do I need? One, two, three, four, five. So I need five of them. So I'm just going to separate a few of them out here. There, that will be the five. Okay, so I'm going to pull the rest of this out of here. Okay, so now I'm going to put some repositionable adhesive on 
the piece that I'm going to put on the top. Okay, I'm going to pull this over here. And I'm going to put this orange piece, not directly on top, but just offset it just a little bit and make sure you've got it to where it matches what you just okay here we go just so it has a little bit of offset that you can see to kind of help it not get lost on that multicolor border okay i'm gonna hold this up as close as i can see how that starry night blue just shows through a little bit on the top and that's what I wanted. Okay. So now I'm going to put the rest of this on the border. And we are almost done. So I'm going to center this on here. Again, I'm just going to eyeball it. Okay, now these little white stars, I'm going to just put a tiny bit of adhesive on them. And I'm going to put it down and I'm using my multi-purpose tool to help me get this where I want it. I'm just going to put it down in the middle of that star that doesn't have anything punched out of it. See that little starfish right there? That didn't have any holes or anything in it like the rest of these do. So I'm gonna put that on each of these going down just so it stands out a little better. Okay. Here's the third one. And I have one left. Let's see. And we're done. See how those kind of stand out? It makes it just give a little bit of different color to make it stand out better. Okay, so we are done with this border. And so here's the other one that I made. And here's this one. So we've got several different colors and lots of different options here for your borders. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, you probably found me on YouTube with Let's Scrapbook with Deanne. So that's where all my different videos are. Um, this is going to be probably number 11 or 12. So I'm just getting started, but I'm having a blast. So um, you can also, if you guys do not have, an advisor please please don't don't go on my website if you have your own advisor make sure you go to her website but if you don't feel free to check out my website creativememories.com slash user forward slash dn castro 
and I would be happy to help you with any questions you have, any um, ideas that you want to share, um, or just any of your scrapbook you need, just let me know. All right. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and uh, hit subscribe. And uh, put on, if you want to know when I put my new videos on, you can hit that little bell and it will notify you when I've got a new video up. Okay. Thanks again, everybody. Talk to you next time. Goodbye.